Can I turn and say, inevitability? You know it's about that time, Bob. It's about the time in the building. Ketatone SA, we're in the building. So today I'm I'm here with a simple tutorial, a mellow and sleazy tutorial. Ba ba. We're in the building, and I'm gonna show you how I made this beat. It's a nice beat, actually. It's a nice beat. It's a nice beat. I like the beat. You know, if you don't like the beat, don't save the beat. That's what I always say. If you don't like the beat, don't save the beat. Because what's the use of saving the beat? A beat that you don't like. So tomorrow you're gonna be like, ah, this beat, man, I'm making wet beats, man. These days I'm making wet beats and all that. Now, if you don't like the beat, delete the beat. Make a beat that you like. That's how I do it. That's how I do it. So without wasting any time, let me play the beat. Then let me show you how I make the beat. Let's get into it. <laughs> So now I'm gonna show you how I actually made the beat. I'm gonna show you how I actually made the beat. So with the beat, then sometimes we start different, you know. Um, but on this one, started making the, the kick first, but then after the kick, I went on going like a simple snap. So here I went for like a different groove. Yeah, so I took like a rim short. Another rim short, but I didn't want like a rim short that like hit hard and all that. So this is like a pack percussion, but it's like it's more of like a folks. Another drum there. So I like using this percussion a lot because it's simple to control actually when you mix it simple to control and this one they both sound the same yeah. I like trying around sounds you know playing with sounds I like playing with sounds a lot So I don't like this high hat that this hat that much. So I think I'm gonna change it. So this thumbbell is cool. So then 
simple hat. So I use this as a clap. So it's cool like this. So I used uh, a string from um I combined two strings, the pretty suitcase and the synth thing pad. Then I switched this one off because I liked only the string. Then I used the machine from Citrus, a full studio. I wanted to use like different sounds actually this time, you know. Classic D tune, I like using the sound a lot in my tracks. So Remsmore once showed me this sound and I started using it a lot, then I stopped. So uh, then I came back and then used it again. created another base simple base so I got this chords from a pack I don't know which pack I got this chords from that pack I didn't make this chords I got this chords from a pack it's, it was a midi pack so then I went on single layer pads, PD, side pad, this pad is cool, but I'm still going to like adjust it, EQ it and everything because I don't, I don't like other sounds that I'm hearing in my earphones, so I'm going to cut certain frequencies in there. So I did that with the pad again, switch this one off. this thing again I use the classic D tune I use the Nexus AR broken square burp, burp, simple then, then I use it like this Distance signal LS. And the open heads. Then I think this was the whole beat there. Yeah. Then I had to do this once to give it more speed, you know. Then I added the bass from Nexus. A big bad, Baba. Big bad.
added something 157 there. I added the machine, the citrus, and that was complete beat actually. Simple. <laughs> Super done thing, super done thing, simple thing, Baba. <laughs>